seconds to play in the game. Yugoslavia is leading by a score of 81 to 77. Greg Wilson takes it in. He is fouled, and he has a chance for a three-point opportunity. I'm here with Notre Dame Fighting Irish basketball coach Digger Phelps. And this ball game, to give you an idea of the character, there have been 18 ties and 12 lead changes. And Digger, the defending Olympic champions from Yugoslavia, want to take some kind of medal home. Well, what has happened, obviously, to Yugoslavia since 1980, they've had a lot of turmoil. They finished seventh last year in the European Cup. For them to win a, any type of medal, a bronze included, which is the only shot they have coming in here now, would put their basketball program in great respect back in Europe. Canada, on the other hand, nobody expected them to make the Final Four. Their big upset went over Italy. They're fighting for the same prestige. And as we go down the wire here, both teams, this game has been this way the entire night. Wilcher makes the free throw. It's 81-80, Yugoslavia. The only other medal that Canada has in its possession from men's basketball in the Olympics was 1936. It was a silver. They lost to the United States on the tennis courts in the rain in mud, 19-8. Yugoslavia is in the blue. Canada is in the red and white. And Razan Petrovic is fouled by Jay Triano as he tries to split the two defenders. Yugoslavia was upset by Spain in the semifinals. That was a surprise. But an even bigger surprise, perhaps, was Italy being upset by Canada as you take another look at the foul. And this will be a very big opportunity at the foul line for Yugoslavia. Well, this is where in international basketball you have an option of either shooting the fouls or taking it out of bounds. With a one-point lead, they would like to get it up to three. And right now, when you have a good player like uh, Drazen Petrovic, who can make three out of two, three tries to make two, uh, that's why Coach Novosel is gambling on this. Missing the first. Dalla Padrick has come back into the ball game for Yugoslavia, having a moment of rest with 37 points. Drazen Petrovic makes one of the free throws to make it 82-80. 83-80 with 52 seconds to play in the ball game for the bronze medal. Pressure foul shooting there by Drazen. Eli Pasquale, Tony Sims, Jay Triano, Bill Winnington, and Greg Wilcher. The lineup for Canada. Alexander Petrovic checking Triano. Blocks him off, and Pasquale forces a bad shot. Inside, Sims battles for it. It's off Sims. Yugoslavia has the ball. 35 seconds to play. They've got to shoot it one more time at least they well, can't they, freeze it they can spread it out and use the 20 seconds that you'll see on the clock left there's no rush for this because they'll still give them a one-point lead Canada has to score twice and this is where the clock's a factor right now there's the foul by Winningson and he fouls Nukic okay they have a choice now they'll take the ball out of bounds this is where the rule comes in where they have that choice they'll probably call a timeout to set up a play then come in with a side out of bounds play because they have a three-point lead with 19 seconds. They don't have to shoot anymore. 19 and a half seconds to play in the ball game. They will take it out of bounds, leading by a score of 83 to 80. What Canada has to do now is to try to deny the inbounds pressure, look for a steal, maybe a quick trap, look for that bad pass, cause a turnover and take it down for a quick score because you don't, on a turnover, have to have the referee touch the ball. You can just grab it and go. Bill Winnington, incidentally, has just fouled out of the ball game for Canada, so they have lost one of their big men. 19 and a half seconds to play in the bronze medal game, and Yugoslavia leading Canada by three. Bella Pogic has put on some show here tonight. He scored 37 points up to now. He's one of the premier players in Europe. Uh, he's an old man. He's in his young 30s. <laughs> but... Uh, this team from Yugoslavia has regrouped itself. They've played very, very well. It means a lot for the country for this team to finish third, as it does for Canada to get their first medal. Well, in 1976, the Canadian basketball team finished fourth at home. They lost to the Soviet Union, 172. Yugoslavia trying to run down the clock. The foul committed by Eli Pasquale, stopping the clock at 17 and a half seconds. They will still run a side out of bounds play because it's gonna take Canada two possessions to score. Even though they're down three points, the one point means a lot right now. Yugoslavia won the gold medal, defeating Italy in the Moscow games. They won the silver in 1968, losing to the U.S. 65-50, another foul by Canada. And Yugoslavia took the silver in 1976, when the Americans beat them 95-74. I'm surprised right now you're going to see more quickness coming in. Of course, Tillman's coming in because there's a, the horror of Duke has just fouled out. And 
I'm surprised Canada's not going to a float press. Take the man off out of bounds, put four people on four people, and let one player float try to steal the inbounds pass. You'll probably get more fouls here as Canada will try to give up some. They are in the, the penalty situation, no question about it. They're playing as close and tough as they possibly can. Triano and Nakic now squaring off against one another, but Dalapagic separates them. Kazanowski's over there. He's getting a little feisty, too. <laughs> Obviously, they're frustrated. 83-80 with 14 seconds to play. Well, Yugoslavia this, leads. This is the rule, and when you've got the option to shoot the foul or you've got an option of taking it out of bounds, here now they're calling an intentional foul for two shots. They're going to shoot the fouls right now. They'll shoot two. Alexander Petrovic, the older brother of Drazen Petrovic, will go to the free throw line. 14 seconds to play. That makes it an 84-80 ball game and would seemingly lock the bronze medal for Yugoslavia. They're happy. They're excited about it. This is what they need in their country, and yet you feel sorry for Canada because they've played so well to get here. He makes them both and builds the lead now to five points. Tillman's been a good shooter all night. Throws it up and in. Nine, eight, the clock running stops on the out-of-bounds play. Tillman coming in off the bench produces 13 points. Just under eight seconds left to play now, and another timeout is called. What Canada's trying to do is to set up a press defense and go for a quick steal and a score, and then hopefully, and this is where it's gonna be tough because if they touch the ball, to stop the clock. A referee can give him a technical for unsportsmanlike conduct. There really isn't much hope now to try to come up with a three-point play because even if the ball is stolen, Yugoslavia will allow them to score and just grab the ball and go out of bounds. Now, the other end, don't be surprised if Yugoslavia just throws it long to get the clock going, even if there is a steal to let the clock run out one by one. 85-82, three-point lead, Yugoslavia. It's a little harder to get your three-point play in international basketball. And just a note, the gold medal game will come tomorrow night from the forum. The United States and Spain. There's your long pass. Foul is called at midcourt, and they're going to call it intentional. And Alexander Petrovic will again go to the free-throw line and shoot on the intentional foul call. He has 12 points in the ball game. But Dalapagic has been the big story tonight for the Yugoslavs. He has scored 37 points. Very good foul shooter. Alexander, a brother of Drazen, very unusual. See two brothers playing on the same national team. It's a four-point lead. Misses the second. The rebound is taken out of there by Canada's John Hatch and then lost. And there it is. That'll do it. You don't have quite a final score yet. They have stopped the clock.